Can I just say how awesome it is to finally be at the point where I'm done with this game, but I go on back and just look at that, my first initial gameplay and I played like such a scaredy cat. Like I was so scared, crawling, creeping around. I didn't want to be detected by nobody. I got the summons coming out every chance I get. I think it got to one point where even after I, like I, I'm clearly one shotting them, but I don't take any chances because my defense and just overall combat maneuvering was, was just suspect. Like I just press R1 and L1 to block. So yeah, it's just, it's just interesting looking at how I initially played into how I play now. So I think you should also preface this that common sense is not common. I've spent quite a bit of time dying and you know obviously that's bad that sucks but I feel like I've learned so much because it's not usually you know like the game is buggy or glitchy nope ain't none of that excuse shit flying over here like I'm usually trying to swing and press all one as fast as possible and that shit is not going to work they hyper armor right through that shit as they should see I just be walking right in the shit thinking I could just debo shit. Nah, that's not how it works over here. But I be catching on. You know, bigger motherfuckers have killed me in the hit, literally. And this is shit I can't get enough of. Like I clearly far ahead now, but I am excited to just try a new game just to kind of re-experience these guys. Like I've used summons for a majority if not most of my boss fights this is probably one of the few boss fights where i didn't use a summon that's only because i don't have it that's to be honest with you that's why i'm looking back at this laughing like this is the first time i actually legit well i'm using horseback that's kind of a second life because the horse dies then you got a chance to survive and yeah like that's literally what's giving me life like i'm holding on to that thread like i'm just using this horse because i know if i go to the ground he's gonna kill me or I won't be able to get that much attacks on. So I feel like the learning curve, even like not relying on the internet, just knowledge of whatever I have in the game so far has been holding me down. Yeah, and I ain't gonna fuck that up. You know, you know what is good. Like, like you ain't gonna, like you see he's doing wild moves and shit. Nope, gonna take my time, make sure that shit work. Cause you ain't gonna kill me at that last shit. Look at the momentum on that trash. Yeah. Got that ass now. Never once equipped that Knight Rider Flare too. I, I, I fuck with strength only. And I, I my leveling has been so trash. Like, I just focused on endurance, vitality, strength, and endurance. Because that's all I kind of knew based on common sense or what little I had, I should say, anyway. So it was at that point where actually it was just so much to do. I didn't know where to go. That's when I was like, fuck it. Why don't I just check a video and just get an idea of what's going on here? And there's just so much I missed too. Like this shit, I cleared this cave. It was coming back when I realized this shit. I probably should pay attention to those messages, but so many of them just say liar or some shit like that. Anyway, my initially i never cared for these shits but now i kind of i fuck with a lot of the messages the fingerprint shield was annoying as fuck anyway random thought Funny part about this shit is I'm leveled up a little bit more, at least level 50, and I'm at the point where I be thinking I'm like hot shit, and then I bump into this motherfucker who's like, nah, you a little nigga. It's definitely at this point where I've caught a rhythm 
with regard to playing and exploring. I found this weapon from, obviously, you know, who wields this. And that was a blessing to kind of see this early because that kind of gave me a bit of confidence to know that I could swing hard because at this point, you know, I don't know much about the procs like bleed. I know a little bit about cold and shit, shit of that nature, but I don't understand how to use it, when to use it and all that jazz. I just kind of put it on as I feel it may be convenient. But I feel like I've started to understand some common sense based on the enemies and what they've been doing. And just little things like obviously animals and fur, fire wouldn't catch on. So that's something I kind of learned later as I kind of start thinking about shit a bit more. But yeah, it's just overall without saying how fun this shit is. Just the live, learn and all that kind of jazz. I've never played a Souls game before in my life. Like I've heard of it, but I... You know, in terms of that soul difficulty, I just, I understood it. I respected it, but I never cared for it. I didn't, you know, I'm a Skyrim guy, so I, I like RPGs. I like, you know, I like challenge. I like adventure, but I'm not just trying to fight bosses all day. But I didn't know it was like this where, you know, they're wielding weapons. You can wield those weapons if you happen to kill them. And I feel like that is just so fucking fire. Um one of the most attractive things about this game where every enemy they're a walking fucking loot box when you think about it like whatever they're wielding if you want it you farm them for it that's kind of how it works and there's something about that i just respect because this is done on such a large scale like you can look i've gotten lost in just simple certain locations i want to call them biomes because i think that's too generic a term but there have just been locations where i just explored and kind of farm it back to back the omen killers for example when i located them and like even just knowing their story i ain't gonna lie like it like even how everything connects i kind of respect that anyway i clearly got a better feel for rhythm knowing how to block um and the short sword and shield has definitely been comfortable for me as as just learning to play the game it took me a while to realize that I can kind of two hand my weapon and then use that as a shield. And for the, my main weapon that I have, that was very helpful. So yeah, shout out to this game, man. I've, I've been playing the shit out of this and just loving it. This enemy in particular gave me so much trouble. I was so scared of him, and it was just trial and error practicing this bitch ass move set and dodging it and ducking it. I, I tried to block it, but that didn't last too long, you know, when I died and shit. So, yeah, you learn to kind of respect the movement and follow with it. But as you see, I'm OG right now. I just be smacking motherfuckers. It ain't nothing. You ain't doing shit, even though I'm buffed up out the ass. Don't get me wrong. I ain't that much of an OG. But you know what I mean? Anyway, I've been, uh, I've had so much footage. I just wanted to kind of just have a quick rant. Because I've, I've played, I have over 150 hours in my first playthrough. And it's like, I'm just getting started. Like, I haven't unlocked everything. And I'm still learning shit if that makes sense this is a dope fucking game